relevant delta H not C values for this reaction are given in the table below. Okay, so this time they have not given us delta H not F values, they have given us delta H not C values. So we cannot take the elements over here, we cannot take the elements down below, but we'll have to take the combustion products of these of these compounds down below. So carbon monoxide can combusts to form carbon dioxide. H2 uh, hydrogen gas uh, combusts to form water. And ethanol combusts, methanol, sorry, methanol combusts to form both carbon dioxide and water. So this cycle is correct. Now this is our delta H naught R here. This arrow is the sum of the enthalpy of the enthalpies of combustion of these two. So it will be minus 283 plus 2 times minus 286 because 2 times because 2 moles I'm sorry about that 2 moles of hydrogen are being burnt so if 2 moles are being burnt then we'll have to multiply the enthalpy of combustion by 2 so 2 into minus 286 right and then this side will be minus 726 that's easy so let's make our vector triangle again to see what the relationships are this is A this is C, this is B. Let's take this as A, B and C again. Now if we see, if we derive a relationship between these three, what we will get is that P is equal to A plus C, right? B is equal to A plus C. So um, we, can, we, can, we can see over here, if we, if, we, if we put this relationship over here, we get minus 283. Sorry about that. Uh, minus 283 plus 2 into minus 286 is equal to is equal to delta H naught R plus uh, minus 726 which is C in this case so we have to make this the subject so what we get is delta H naught R I'll just directly do the calculation because let's not waste time. So minus 283 plus 2 into minus 286 plus 726 because since 726 is getting subtracted over here, it will be added on the left side. So we get minus 129 kilojoule per mole. Yeah, now let's move forward. So the unsaturated hydrocarbon E is obtained by cracking hexane and it is and is important in the chemical industry. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of E is minus 2059 kilojoule per mole. Okay. So what do we know about E? So let's just let's just not think about anything else but about compound E. It's an unsaturated hydrocarbon, so most probably an alkene. It is obtained by cracking hexane. Okay, so that's not important right now. That, not that important. Uh, what we can say is that uh, it is uh, because it is obtained by cracking hexane. It can be. Uh, it ha it is a hydrocarbon with six carbons or less, right? So that's the only thing we can de deduce right now. The standard enthalpy change of combustion of E is minus two zero five nine kilojoules per mole. Define the term standard enthalpy change of combustion. It is the enthalpy change when one mole of a or one mole of a substance is burnt in excess oxygen to form. Uh, is, is burnt in ex uh, sorry when uh, I'll repeat the standard enthalpy change of combustion uh, of uh, com of combustion is the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance is burnt in excess oxygen under standard conditions. That's it. When 0 0.47 grams of E it was completely burnt in air, the heat produced raised the experiment raised the temperature of 200 grams of water by 27.5 degrees Celsius. Okay. Assume no heat losses occurred during this experiment. Okay, so we know that uh, delta T is equal to 27.5. Is uh, it uh, it raised the temperature of water? So it means that um, delta T is equal to plus 27.5 degrees Celsius. And we know that C is equal to 4.18 for water because this reaction uh, because 
it uh, the, the heat produced raises the temperature of water not of e it raises the temperature of water so m is equal to 200 grams we can see that over here right m is equal to 200 grams so you